Hey, what's going on, P-Pixel pals? This is Panic Pixel. you can call me Christine, and welcome to my unboxing and review of the Sadie's D201 Bluetooth headset. Now, just a quick reminder to those of you who, want, who don't want to listen to this part of the video, there are annotations above that allow you to skip ahead to more interesting parts, so feel free to click those whenever you feel like it. So the Sadie's brand is well known for their gaming headsets. If you look around on the internet, most people talk about the SAU whatever whatever, but little do most people know that Sadie's has actually started producing different lines of products now. Last year they started releasing gaming mouses, a keyboard and also a two Bluetooth headsets. So they have like this D201 right now and also a D802 which I will be unboxing and reviewing in another video so stay tuned for that. The D201 is currently priced at around 30 US dollars, 30 to 40 US dollars depending on where you buy it. Most sellers sell it for around 30 dollars. I got this for free from Sadie's themselves because they sent me a review copy so thank you very much Sadie's for that. If you compare the prices of Bluetooth headsets Sets. Most of them are around probably 50 to 100, at least the good quality ones with the good sound. There are some cheap ones at around the $30 price range, but a lot of people have complained about sound leakage problems and the design isn't exactly closed ear. So we're going to see how this Bluetooth headset compares to those. So looking at the front of the box, you can see that the D201 comes in two colors. It comes in red and it comes in blue. It says that it's good for music. It's good for games, it's stereo compatible, it has soft ear pads, it has 6 plus hours of battery, it's compatible with Bluetooth 4.1, and I'm guessing that refers to how far you can go with this headset. Looking at the side, it says here that it's compatible with Bluetooth 4.1 version, it has some jargon there about the specs. It's compatible with iOS, Android, and Windows mobile phone systems. So this is mostly for phones. This is not for Windows computers. At the bottom of that, it says that it has compatible button settings for easy control of phone calling and audio playing. But it has a picture of the USB cord here, and English is a bit weird, so that makes it seem a bit sketchy. I hope I hope Sadie's fixes that. Looking at the back, you can see the specifications in different languages, four different languages this time, not so many compared to the Spillon headset. If you'd like to check out the uh, specifications, you can pause the video right here. And at the bottom, it has some small text. Um, tips apparently. Uh, product specifications and design may be due to improvement of technology. I don't really understand what that means. That English is a bit sketchy. So that's it for the box. Nothing much, nothing nothing that special. So let's get to unboxing it. Open it over here. Let's pop this open. Open this up. And you can see it's not it's not very big, it's very small. So here's the headset itself. It is red. Comes in this cardboard thing. And this is the headset. Take a good look at it. Look at it. This nice Sadie's logo on the sides. I think that actually might chip away quite easily though. Soft ear cups here. Charged with a U small mini USB port, I think. I think this is the on switch probably. And the volume up and down here are very small. Same Sadie's cushions as per usual. Let's put that down for a little bit. What's in the small plastic bag here? Comes with a USB cable that is actually pretty long. I'm surprised at its length. That's like, that's like a meter long. Jesus. At least you can charge it from really far away. No Sadie's branding on on the USB thing. Let's take a look at the operating instructions. In Spanish, Spanish, Korean, German, and English. And it has clear instructions on how to pair it up with your phone. So I'm going to test this thing out for a little bit and give you my thoughts in the review. So stay tuned for that. Getting straight to the point, the Sadie's D201 Bluetooth headset is probably the best Bluetooth headset you could find in the $30 price range. That is, 
if you're looking for a decent music listening experience with wireless functionality. When I put this headset on for the first time, I was amazed at the sound that came out from the tiny thing. For something so cheap, the D201 has a lot of clarity for the price and a very satisfying bass to it. To my ears, the D201 is comparable to Beats branded headphones. They have a lot of oomph, but often at the expense of detail. So while these may be great for people who casually listen to music, it might not be for those who want to appreciate vocals and the instruments properly. But even when looking for standard 3.5mm headphones, it's hard to find sound quality like this within this price range. So, Sadie's great job on that. Now of course, quality at a $30 price is bound to come with other sacrifices as well. The biggest drawback to the D201 is that calls are terrible. The audio quality drops drastically when you're talking to someone, so much that I struggled to hear whoever was talking on the other end. The microphone isn't that much better either. It picked up a lot of background noise and couldn't focus on my voice properly. You can barely hear me in this recording. Hi, this is a microphone test of the Katie's D201 Bluetooth headset. Hello, my name is Christine and I am on A1. The second drawback comes from its looks. The D201 doesn't look too bad, but it isn't exactly eye candy either. I brought it with me to school and a few of my guy friends agreed that it wasn't something they'd wear. I'm not too fond of the design either. The plastic looks like it could have been taken from one of those household plastic organizers or containers. Not really an association you'd like to make. Surely, Sadies, there should be a way to make this look more premium without having to bump up the price too much. Speaking of the build, I'm happy to report that this headset does cling well to the head much better than the Spillond and SE903. And the padding on the headband, though thin, does provide an extra bit of comfort. The ear cups also don't leak a lot of sound, so you don't have to worry too much about bothering people around you. Coming back to some of the sacrifices you have to make at the $30 price though, while the Bluetooth signal is largely stable, it can get pretty choppy at random intervals. My Plantronics Voyager Edge has never been as problematic as the D201 in the same kind of environments I put the headset in. Simply putting my phone into my pocket while on a crowded street already messes up the signal in more instances than it should. Even in relatively empty environments like my living room and my school common room, it'll randomly skip parts of whatever I'm listening to. But I'd say it's still pretty tolerable since the signal is alright about 90% of the time. Another thing to note is that there's no indicator for battery life, so you'll need to look at your device for that. To sum it all up, the Sadie's D201 Bluetooth headset is great considering it provides decent sound wirelessly at such an affordable price. If you prioritize music listening, don't mind some muddiness in the sound, and are willing to sacrifice call quality for it, then the D201 is for you. If you're looking for something more balanced, then you should probably save for something better. You deserve better than this. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you're interested in buying the D201, the Amazon link is down below. And do try to take advantage of the free 2-day shipping too. Using those links gives me a small kickback for the channel so I can produce more content like this. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, give me a thumbs down. In any case, thanks so much for watching and have a pleasant day.